woman. It's BBC Radio Berkshire. It's just gone 10 minutes to 12. Let's get some reaction now to the news that the head of the Metropolitan Police, Cressida Dick, has confirmed that her officers will investigate a series of gatherings held at Downing Street during lockdown. Let's speak to the Conservative MP for Bracknell now, James Sunderland. Um, I, I noticed that the leader of the House of Commons, Jacob Rees-Mogg, said uh, just after 10 o'clock this morning, James, that he felt that the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, had exhibited brilliant leadership during the pandemic. Do you agree? Yeah, under the circumstances, I think the Prime Minister has exhibited the right leadership. Clearly, the allegations relating to number 10 are very disappointing. Um, is it exhibiting brilliant leadership to find yourself at the centre of a police investigation? Well, I think you're conflating issues. I think that uh, the Prime Minister has led the country as best as he is able um, with regards to the pandemic. I mean, no stones been left unturned in terms of the uh, support available, the furlough scheme, the money spent on test and trace, PPE, NHS. The country's done what it can and everything he possibly can to deal with the crisis. But uh, we need to obviously look at the allegations in respect to number 10 in due course. Um, the, the reality is, though, that it's an unfortunate situation for the Prime Minister to be in, potentially in breach of the rules that he created. Well, it is regrettable. It is disappointing. Um, but what we have to do is allow the investigation to take its course. I mean, we know about Sue Gray's inquiry. I think that we need to make sure that we don't unnecessarily, um, you know, prejudice the inquiry. This is about diligence. It's about process. We need to leave those people to get on with it. The reality is, though, that that Sue Gray inquiry, whilst it can continue, whilst the Metropolitan Police investigate, that report now won't be published, which is a, a further delay to, to what's going on. We need some answers now, don't we? I'm not sure we do. I'm not sure those answers are readily available. And, and clearly, the Met Police have been called in now uh, as part of that inquiry. Um, I mean, I welcome that purely because we are a law-abiding society. We have to abide by the law. And if the police are called in, then it's good for a good reason. Do you feel embarrassed to be an MP with the Conservative Party at the moment? No, not personally. I mean, I think the vast majority of colleagues, MPs, are working really hard. They're working around the clock. They're doing the best they can for their constituents. I certainly am. I followed the rules and it sticks in my throat that others didn't. But I think in the main, I'm proud to be a Conservative. Um, it's just unfortunate that these allegations have come to light and that we need to deal with it. Are you proud to be led by Boris Johnson? Uh, yes. Um, he's innocent until proven guilty. We have to let the inquiry run its course. Um, and uh, for, the, for the time being, I think he's the right person for the job. The reality is, though, that uh, trying to run the country in unprecedented times like those that we're experiencing at the moment is a difficult enough job, isn't it, without the distraction of this? Is Boris Johnson too much of a distraction when it comes to the job that, that you and your other MPs need to get on and do? Well, I think the last two years have been completely unprecedented full stop. I mean, everyone that I speak to in the constituency has made sacrifices. It's affected our children, it's affected schools, it's affected our health. We've lost loved ones. It's been pretty appalling full stop. And my humble view is that the government has done the best it can under the circumstances. And uh, the fact that we are now unlocking, the fact that restrictions have been lifted, the fact that we've got a good vaccination programme, the fact that the booster jabs are going in arms, the fact that we are the fastest growing economy in the G7 means that we haven't got it all wrong. But is Boris Johnson too much of a distraction? I don't think he is. Um, I think Boris Johnson has had huge pressure. I think he's got a very difficult job. He's got a young family who works around the clock. He's not had a break. He almost died because of COVID. I think we need to be just a bit more empathetic to the challenges that we've all faced over the last two years and move on. So you will continue to back him? For the time being, yes, of course. Uh, James, thank you. That's the uh, Conservative MP for Bracknell, James Sunderland. If you want to